Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the Fuzzy Biker Garage. This morning we are getting ready for a ride to Canada via Duluth. I'm going to make it to Duluth today. Canada tomorrow, I hope, anyway. Here's the hot rod we're going to take. It's dirty, but it's mechanically intact. It, uh, I just oiled the uh, back chain and checked it. Check the engine oil. I checked the engine coolant right down here. This is how I check my tire pressure right there. And that's actually good. The sensors are off just a little bit, but uh, I've checked them against the uh, gauge. Anyway, the bike is ready to go, except for uh, I got to pack some stuff, but I got, that's real easy. I just, I'm just going to put a couple shirts in a bag and a pair of pants and away we're going to go because that's all we need, a passport, my passport too. Uh, bike's been running grand. I just got it back from Baxter Cycle. Boy, it needs a bath, doesn't it? It's got, uh, it's got something like 13,000 miles on it already or something like that. I've got it just over nine weeks, nine weeks and a few days. There it is, 12,968 miles by gully. So we're just about there. And uh, we're gonna do, well, let's say it's 600 miles up to Duluth. Duluth. Anyway, the bike's been running ground. I just got it back from, like I said, from Baxter's. They uh, cleaned the air filter, they just checked the valves, which did not need adjusting. They, uh, the intake valves were literally on the minimum and the exhaust valves were in the middle, you know, so they're in the range, the range that they had to be in. So we're going to, I'm going to put a couple, four or 5,000 more miles on it. We're going to check it again and then see where we're at at that point. The valve adjustments on this bike are supposed to be 6,000 and then 6,000 more. And then after that, every 12,000. So after this last check, I should be able to go 12,000, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do it again at 6,000. So anyway, we checked the coolant, you know, the whole thing is just, prime to go you know it's a ready machine by gully i've got this tire on the back the dunlop trail max mission i did uh, that's got uh, i put that on 7600 so a couple weeks ago and uh it's it's actually wearing pretty good <laughs> i love these tires this is the third one i've had on a bike i had two on my other on the old la rosa over actually it still has one on the back and on the front uh the front one on this bike is uh it's just it's you can tell it's wearing but it's it's still an absolutely viable tire so i think when that wears out we're gonna go with the uh i don't know what we're gonna go with i'm thinking dunlop trail mix mission so the bikes here's the uh you know we check the brake pads they're all just fine front and back they're like new you know <laughs> been a lot of highway miles on this bike but just look that thing over. I got to run over and get some fuel yet, I think, this morning. Uh, somebody asked me, uh, you know, why isn't it hard to change the air filter on that thing? And actually, it's not. You use the key right here to pop the seats off. A couple bolts here. Tank comes up. I hook two hoses over here. Little electric connection over here. The tank comes right off. And uh, I know that sounds like a lot, a lot more work than it should be. And it probably is. But it is still easy to get to. And then the air intakes are down here. And uh, the, the value of that is we did some river crossings a couple weeks ago, a month ago now, I suppose. And, uh, you know, the water was knee deep. So about here somewhere. And the uh, bike, you know, the intake's way up here, so it didn't matter. Gorgeous bike. You know, yesterday, or I think it was day before yesterday. Yesterday I was on my Super Meteor over yonder. Uh, day before yesterday, we were out Lust Hill riding with this hot rod. And that's why it's so dusty, because it, it was just uh, me and a group of five. You know, there were five of us in the group. And we were doing gravel, and we were doing dirt roads, and we were doing this powdery dust, and you know, all that stuff. And then uh, today we're going to be doing <laughs> miles and miles of interstate, if you can believe that. So, same bike, you know. And I talked about that a little bit earlier. Uh, you know, this is the motorcycle, the sum, the single universal motorcycle, the one. The one bike. One bike that can do anything, you know, it can do anything all these other bikes I got here can do. You know, if I want to go uh, cruise the uh, boulevards or interstates, it'll do anything that'll do. You know, if I want to look cool it'll do what this does you know it'll do <laughs> it'll do what my dirt bike will do it'll, it'll just do like this is now my new dirt bike it'll just do it all you know it's just kind of the magic motorcycle though the sum like i said the single universal bike so you know um kind of work up a deal on uh how to bag it you know how to pack stuff and this trip it's only be a couple days so everything i think will fit in this box i'm not taking my camping gear so I don't have to worry about that. Check this out. I put this little flashlight in here. So <laughs> I can just do that to get light in the box whenever I need it. 
Big, my Bigfoot sticker right there, a friend gave me that. But uh, no, so uh, I, I've got a system in mind where, oh, I had a friend on the back of this bike the other day. Uh, we had to drop off this motorcycle. So a buddy of mine, he hopped on the back, 220 pounds. And uh, this bike, not only did it do it with ease, it did it at speed. I, and I mean, you know, real speed. So it, it has no trouble doing two up. A buddy of mine, Jeremy, he, we went out to Colorado and uh, he and his wife were in the back of a Himalayan, just like this, four, four, five, two, the whole time, the way out there, all the way back and all the way through the mountains. And he said he had no trouble. Well, uh, me and my buddy were on the back of this one for six or eight miles. And again, no trouble. So the bike has plenty of torque, plenty of torque. Now back to luggage. The system I'm looking at right now is a, it's kind of a, it's a thing that fits over here, runs down here, you know, you tie it to here, and to that you attach your bags. And you can get different size bags. It's not, it's not, it's a, it's like a canvas or a cloth or a, you know, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's made by Rhino Walk, and I'm, that's what I think I'm going to get. And then there's these little bags that attach to it, and you can get bags, I think, uh, 10 liter, 15 liter, 20 liter, whatever size, you know, big, big, big bags. And what I want is bags I can take, go pack them in the other room, in the house, whatever, come back, st strap them on the bike, get to where I'm going, unstrap them, walk into the hotel or throw them in the tent or, you know, and I, I think I can do that with this, with those, with that system. I'm going to do a little more checking. I just want to make sure, you know, there's a lot of good brands out there and I just want to make sure I get, get what I, I don't want to have to buy it twice. You know what I mean? Uh, the windshield has been working grand. This is a WRS. I think it says right there. I got this from Baxter Cycle and uh, a friend of mine has one that's just a little shorter. This is the taller one. I've had no troubles with this one. I did notice that when I have my helmet on, I wear this Neotech right here. That's what I'll be wearing today. When I have the visor open, all the way open, the uh, wind will buffet it just a little bit, but not much. But I rarely ride with the visor all the way open, you know. And even if I just click it down two clicks, problem goes away. So uh, it's been a gorgeous bike. You know, 13,000 miles of fun on this hot rod. And today, uh, in the next three days, we're going to probably put another 1,700 on it. Friday, I've got a 300 mile ride. So we'll have 2,000 more miles on this by the end of the week. And everything has just worked fabulously. Like I said, uh, I took it into Baxter's. They uh, did the, uh, they changed the oil, did the valves, all that neat stuff. Check, re-clean the air, fil air filter. They looked everything over and, uh, you know, every, check the brakes, the chain, all that neat stuff. And everything's just fine. And speaking of that chain, 13,000 miles on the original chain, you know, I didn't adjust the chain until 7,600 miles, and then uh, I adjusted it again uh, a couple days ago, so that's another 5,000 miles. And I mean, look at that thing. It's, and I just lubed it, by the way. It's, uh, <laughs> that's one heck of a chain, you know? It's got to be ready to replace at some point. I'll, I'll probably replace it in the next five or 10,000. So that'll be, you know, next week, maybe. <laughs> a couple weeks from now, right? Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so, so we're going to do the, we're trying to, what we're trying to do today is get into Canada, make sure my passport works, make sure they'll let me in for, you know, in case there's some magic reason that they won't make sure the bike will go through, figure out how the money machine, I want to go over there, try to get lunch or breakfast, or maybe I get, you know, just put gas in the tank, make sure I can use my, my debit card, make sure I can, you know, make sure I can do it. And then we're going to use that as the, uh, if that all works out, we're going to make the plan trip to, uh, Alaska next year. So we're going to try to go to Alaska in June early to mid June and it's going to, we're, we're going to try to do it. It'll probably be a month long trip. And, uh, if y'all are interested in that, let us know. We're not going to, I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know if we're going to do it as uh, I think I'm going to plan that I'm going to go alone. Anybody wants to tag along, you know, but th this may all change. Just let us know. But the idea is this bike, it's, uh, the road we're going to take is the Alcan and that's actually all paved. So, you know, anybody can really do it. A friend of mine was uh, talking, he was talking about taking his gold wing on it. So, and we talked to a guy in a big six-cylinder BMW. I can't think of what those are called, the big inline six-cylinder ones. A, you know, great big motorcycle. And he had just gone all the way up to, I think he even went up to the Arctic Circle on his. So, you know, it's something you can do on pretty much any, any bike. But it will certainly be done on this bike. This thing is just so, you know, it just does, it's just got an inch of dust on it, by golly. Uh, I, I love this thing. Um, like my goal with it is... You know, I get up in the morning, I decide I want to go to Canada or Arizona or whatever. I can just hop on and go. And like I said, I'm trying to get the bag system worked out. Other things we're going to do uh, more. Uh, so Canada today, I'd like to go to, uh, I'd like to do the uh, Route 66 in the next couple weeks. 
you know, <laughs> I got something big in November, but I can't tell you about it yet because they asked me not to talk about it. But uh, it, it's uh, it's an adventure. Let's just say that. And uh, I, I won't be taking there. There's no new motorcycle. Well, there are new motorcycles involved, but there's no new ones for me. But it's it's that's that's what's going to be going on in November, part of at the end of November anyway. But uh, before that, I'd like to go Route 66 in, and then uh, whatever we don't finish up before that, we'll do after in December probably. So that's my big plans for riding. I've been studying the, you know, reading the books and watching the videos and all that neat stuff, you know. And uh, we'll, we'll figure it all out. But uh, the bike, anyway, the, the bike's just been grand. You know that. I, so what do I like about this bike? I love the 40 horsepower single cylinder dual overhead cam engine that produces so much torque, you know, 30 foot pounds of torque. That's 42 newton meters. I love the six speed transmission. It's got some. I don't want to call them quirks, but little idiosyncrasies. That it's a great transmission, but it's it's got some, you know, you learn to work with it just like it learns to work with you. You know, I love the uh, I love the suspension on this thing. You know, we were tearing through uh, B roads and rutted roads and you know all kinds of things, and that big old 21 inch tire and that upside down fork, 43 millimeter upside down fork with the eight inches of travel that's 200 millimeters. You know, it was working so good, and then a. Uh, the brake, you know, it's a better brake than the old one. I didn't think the old one had bad brakes, particularly on gravel or dirt, but this brake is just fabulous. And it's, you know, it's it's certainly an up, 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 it, it's certainly an improvement over the old one over yonder. And then uh, running back to the back, we got a little more suspension on the back now. We've got eight inches of suspension versus 7.1, so 200 millimeters on the back. Got nine inches of ground clearance, so that would be 230 millimeters. The bike weighs less, it's 430 pounds, or, 195 kilograms. That's about 10 pounds less than the old one. The seat height is, the, and the setting I have it is 33 and a half inches. I think that's what it is. 33 and a quarter, 33 and a half. It's 845 millimeters, and you can drop it down to 825 millimeters or 32 and a half inches if you want. I think it's 33 and a quarter inches actually in, the, in this position. But it's so narrow, you know, it's so narrow that it actually this motorcycle actually feels lower than the old Himalayan does, believe it or not. Now mine has a tall seat, but even the with a stock seat. And then the other one is this bike has a lower center of gravity. And I'm the only person I've heard saying that, but uh, I'm gonna qualify that statement with the fact that I rode that bike a thousand miles the week that I picked up this bike. I rode that a thousand miles, so I had a really good feel for that. And the, when I hopped on this one, that was one of my first conclusions was this actually felt like it had a lower center of gravity. So. You know, loads of fun on that. Uh, 17 liter gas tank, four and a half gallons. That is, uh, if you fill it when it's up on a center stand or hold it upright when you fill it. If you fill it on the side stand, you're gonna get about four gallons in there. So, and I know that because I ran out of fuel. <laughs> and I had it on the side, I ran out of fuel at the gas station, had it on the side stand, filled it, it took four gallons. Um, after that, I went, I cut, you know, a week later or whatever, I tried the same thing on the, on the side stand, straightened it up, and then it took another three tenths of a gallon. So. You can definitely get more fuel if you do it the other way. Wheelbase is uh, 1,510 millimeters. That's 59.4 inches. It's a grand bike. It's a grand bike. And I am going to pack that thing up and we are gonna head to Duluth, Duluth, Lake Superior, North Shore Road. We're gonna have some fun. Last time I was on that uh, North Shore Road, we tried to get to Canada and 40 miles short, there was a, literally a cloud on the road. We got into it. A friend of mine said, what do we do with the only thing we can do is turn around. So, <laughs> so we did. So I hope we don't run into that today. If we do or tomorrow, if we do, we'll figure something out. Anyway, life is good. Life is good. If y'all are interested in a motorcycle like this or like that or like that or anything else, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini trough of Samarni, Iowa. They got parts, accessories, thing which is doodads of all types. They can help you out. Uh, they ship motorcycles most places, a lot of places. Get a, give them a call if you're interested. Go to BaxterCycle.com. Hit like and subscribe if you would. I appreciate that. Give me a comment. Like that too. I love the comments. Just, you know, love it. Love hearing from you all. And uh, I'm going to get ready to get on that motorcycle and go for a ride. Today's going to be a great day. You all get out and ride yourselves, all right? Wahoo!